extremely glad to present this very very interesting work done by the students of IIT Bombay. I would go for swimming early in the morning and I would watch this bunch of very very enthusiastic kids working hard at the swimming pool building this equipment. I went and asked them what it was. What is was it their project? No, they said it was an underwater vehicle which they were developing and it is part of a competition. That's what encouraged me to go further in and see how they were learning and actually applying design and how they were learning uh, to actually build prototypes and take it to the field and test it out. In fact, all the team, for example, a large team of students who actually, you know, are sort of guided. They're the junior students who come and join them again. And on top of this, what's interesting is they would go relentlessly in actually uh, debugging their own work and, you know, in the process, learn all the software programming, electronics, robotics, motor power, multiple, multiple technologies together. In fact, the most important aspect was that how the students actually would go out of the way to build all the equipment themselves. The students went to this competition in San Diego. Matsya secured second position in the RoboSub competition of 2016 when I made this film. Fear in the hearts of landlubbers everywhere by making it through the start gate, following two path markers and finding their way through the navigation channel with points for style. They nearly scuttled the ship by touching both red and green buoys, and they found the island when they surfaced in the octagon. Their pirate treasure of points was secured when they detected the random pinger, placed one marker on the closed lid anchor box, and plundered bonus points for time. The Matsya 6, designed again by the students of IIT Bombay, won the third position in a presentation at the Global RoboSub competition held in California. After a four-year hiatus, IIT Bombay's AU team again made it to the top three in the presentation category on August 30th. The team won a $600 prize for the project. Since the competition was held virtually this year, 33 student teams from across the world were judged on five categories. Overall category, video presentation, technical design, report, website and special awards. 